Hey guys, I just want to give you a quick overview of how to set up your Pi Dash system with one gauge. Um, it can be a little bit overwhelming when you see all this stuff, but once you get it all set out and plugged up, um, it's really uh, pretty easy to take care of. So obviously here you've got your one gauge hub. All your sensors are going to run into this. In this case, we've got a single oil pressure sensor right here that runs into the screw terminals. And then this customer has an OBD2 setup. So we've got the OBD2 going into the uh, CAN bus port here. Now I've got um, two sets of power wires. This first set are my main power wires that, um, that power the entire system. And then I've got um, two 5 volt regulators for the screen and the Raspberry Pi right here that both run to the one gauge um, 12 volt output terminals. So the system is powered completely um, by just these two um, positive and negative wires. Also on the one gauge we have this additional input module which the customer can use for additional um, optional inputs for indicators, 12 volt indicators, so things like a fan coming on, fuel pumps, basically anything that you would want um, an indicator for, seat belt, you know, door open, door jar, that type of thing. So moving over here to our Pi Dash, we've got, this is the Raspberry Pi itself. Um, the connections here, you've got the USB ports here on the left side. And then along the top, we have the first HDMI output, which obviously connects to the screen. And then we have the USB-C power, um, which, as I mentioned, we've got this 5-volt regulator for that. This blue board here on the right is the, um, it's what handles all of the, the screen output. So um, the HDMI cable goes into here, and once again, we have an, a USB-C cable for powering the screen itself. Then on the screen, um, this black cable is actually the optional touch screen, so it allows you to be able to move the cursor um, to move between dashes and things like that using the um, touch screen functionality on the screen. So um, basically, you know, your essential connections are your two USB-C power connections, which are both on the circuit boards, and then the HDMI cable that goes between um, the uh, the Raspberry Pi and the circuit board for the um, screen. And then the touch screen portion is just, it's just a USB connection. Um, so you can see that right here. And then this blue cable is what connects your one gauge to the Pi and provides the readings that are on the screen um, from the one gauge in the Raspberry Pi. So that's the entire system. Um, on the Pi itself, what you can do is if you want to customize or adjust, I've got a small mouse here that I use for things like this. Um, you can plug that into one of these USB ports and now you have a really easy to use mouse. You can also um, plug in a keyboard. Any kind of keyboard is going to work. So uh, if you use your mouse and you double click, it's going to bring you out of full screen mode. And then you can right click on things to be able to load and save dashboards. Um, to be able to adjust parameters of different gauges. Now one thing that is important is the gauges get a little goofy on these screens because the resolution changes when you leave full screen mode. So if you're trying to move gauges around and um, change layout and things, you want to go into full screen mode by double clicking. And then you can right click and select dashboard designer there towards the bottom. And that's going to let you move different gauges around. So if I wanted to drag this gauge over, um, put something in a different place, you know, that's relatively easy. Okay, and then if I want to change some parameters, I can right click and go into the, um, the dashboard designer tab. And the main one that you're going to be using there is the properties dialog, which allows you to change things like minimum maximum value of the gauge. You can change when the reading turns red or yellow for warning lights, those types of things. As you can see right there, that negative 40 is giving me um, a warning reading. That's gonna be, looks like that's for fuel temperature. So you can customize all of that on your screen. Um, these tabs here on the bottom are all, are, are all your different screen designs. Um, sometimes you have to load them up in full screen to get the background to show up. But if you want to set one of the, this first tab right here on the left is what's going to load up when you first start the setup. 
So if you do want to change your default screen, you're going to need to load in one of the other um, designs and you can do that by right clicking here, hitting load. You can go to load dashboard and then you click other and the three dots to open up the menu and you'll be able to you'll be able to scroll through your tuner studio projects and then one gauge and then dashboard and there's a bunch there's all the different dashboards there that you can load up and then customize on this screen so uh, we'll do another video in the future about customizing and changing your your screens and doing all those types of adjustments but hopefully that gets you started